So I'm not gonna pretend like I didn't disappear for a hot minute. It's been a while since I made a video, but I am so happy to be back with this video right here because if you saw my intro, you got a quick snippet into what my office slash studio space looked like and let me tell you, it needed an extreme makeover. When the quarantine kicked in, I decided that I was going to redo this room. As you can already see behind me, a little bit into what I was working on. Um, it is completed and I am literally the happiest. I love this space so much. There are a few things that I knew for sure that I wanted in the room. I wanted it to be feminine. I wanted to have a gallery wall or walls and I wanted plants. I got this little, well not little, but this big baby right here, which I absolutely, absolutely love. So I started off by painting the walls white. I wanted to give the room a very clean slate and I just think white is so refreshing and for a studio space for me personally i thought white would be the best option because it bounces light really well it really just brightens up the room and you can add any color any texture and it's not gonna go wrong i spent a lot of time on pinterest trying to get ideas for gallery walls and pictures and um inspiration for what i wanted my room to really look like because this is going to be a space that i'm going to spend a lot of time in i did a lot of diy projects for the room i bought a chair off of facebook marketplace for 15 bucks that was hella ugly i bought spray paint and i spray painted the chair i bought a piece of fabric from walmart and i reupholstered the cushion i've used spray paint for a number of items in the room to change the look of them spray paint was my best friend for redoing this room because I just went to the dollar store and to Walmart and bought a bunch of stuff that I wanted to spray paint the colors that match the room and I did vases I did decorative stuff for the walls and the chair most importantly I even spray painted a bunch of picture frames too I mean there's ugly ones at Dollarama but if you get a nice spray paint you can spray paint them whatever color you want and then they turn out to be pretty nice and when i look around the room now like i'm surprised because some of these things look like i would have paid for them at like home sense so don't ever underestimate the dollar store i got so many wicked trinkets from the dollar store to just add a little extra texture to my walls in my room from the feather to the mermaid tail the angel wings that i have here as well as plates that I just spray painted to add to the wall. This was a great find. I got this for $4, $4. Way better than buying like a neon sign or anything like that because I don't wanna spend $400 on a sign. I also got from the dollar store two candles and two bowls each. I melted the candles down and I put them into the bowls because I thought that those bowls would look way better on my wire rack. The wire rack I actually got from Home Depot and it was about $45, super essential for the room. It just created a nice corner here for me while I'm filming. Some of the other DIY projects that I did, the carpet that I bought came with a really thick roll that looked like the inside of a paper towel roll. And what I did is I spray painted that and I fed through a hanging light and so now the hanging light is just sitting on the top and I tucked the roll behind my stand here to add a little extra light in the background as you can see that was probably one of my favorite finds favorite hacks now that I have this in here I took this old wooden frame that we had and I spray painted it black and I added a piece of decorative paper taped behind it as a backdrop so that I could have a like hanging picture frame. To cover my closet door, I got a curtain from Walmart. It cost me $11. I just bought these little hooks on top so that I could hang it with the pole that, that I had already had. And I created my own drawback for the curtain. You can do a lot with nails and a hammer, I'll tell you. All of the picture frames outside of the gold ones, I spray painted. I got them all from the dollar store. The pictures that are in the frames are either artworks of my own or pieces that I already owned. My favorite 
favorite thing about this room is the plants. I've never had so many plants in one room before, but I love walking in here and seeing my cactus and seeing my succulents. And this big, beautiful plant here brings me literally so much joy. The room smells different. It feels different being in here. Plants can make or break a room, I think. We don't have enough plants in this house. I feel like not enough people have plants or have enough plants in their house. And honestly, I think plants just really help bring a room to life. It makes you feel like you're outside when you're inside. And I think that that's really important because we don't get into nature enough. So if this is the closest thing I can get on most days, I'll take it. The gallery wall, oh my gosh, this took me so long to put together to get all the photos, print the photos, place them on the wall. I was measuring stuff. How many four by sixes can I have? How many eight by tens can I have? How many five by seven, six by six? Like I wanted the wall to look different. I didn't want all the pictures on the wall to be the same because the space that I had on either side of my closet are different sizes. So I thought, well, in order to kind of make it look different, I'm gonna have to do different size images, but it also adds something a little bit extra to the wall. Some of the images on the wall, I have actually either taken those pictures or or created those images and then most of them because there's so many were downloaded from the internet a lot of things I just screenshotted them and even though the quality of the picture when you look at it up close is a little bit pixelated I didn't mind that because it was just going on my wall and I'm gonna be seeing it kind of from a distance anyways so it wasn't really that important to me that every picture was absolutely crystal clear, but I, I love and I am obsessed with this wall. My chair, this chair, I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. It is so beautiful. I think that it really, really works in the room. I can't believe I found it for $15. I really, really, really love it. And it really fits in the room well.
Um, if you have any questions about any of the projects that I did or any of the items that I got and where I got them from, how much I paid for them, please comment below and let me know because I will write back to you. Make sure you subscribe, you like this video, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I come out with a new video. My next video is going to be a good one because it is a haul video. So stay tuned.